Hey bro, I'm Simon Middleson, I'm 15, I'm from the UK, and as of October 2024, which is when I'm making this video, I've made over $5,000 online. Now, I'm just telling you that now so you know you can actually trust me and so you know you can actually take what I'm saying this video seriously, okay? Because me and you, we both know there's so many little kids out there online who will tell you how to, how to make like 10K online and how to do this and that, where in reality, like they haven't even done it, like they haven't even made any money online themselves yet, but they'll still try and tell you how to make money online. I'm just giving you this fact now, okay, to prove I'm credible on this so you can actually take my advice seriously. And so because I'm not like the other guys and because this video is genuinely made to help you please 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 don't treat this like any other video on youtube okay actually pay attention to this video so full screen yeah know the tab put your phone down whatever you're else you're doing yeah full focus on this video okay get a notepad like genuinely get a piece of paper out right now not on your phone not on wherever okay to make notes get a piece of paper out a notebook or whatever and so i'm not going to tell you that you have to make notes okay but if any good ideas pop into your brain while you're watching this video just write them down okay so that they don't disappear and so you actually keep the value you get from this video and so today i'm going to teach you a really really important lesson that you probably like instinctively know in your head you probably subconsciously understand this but you've never actually like thought of it clearly in your brain if that makes sense and i'm going to try and make this idea clear in your brain today um it's basically about not doing something you hate for work this isn't just like all the other bs on youtube where it's like oh yeah work hard stay consistent yeah keep on your grind like it's none of that okay this is an actual intellectual topic i want to talk to you about today and i'm not going to hide it from you anymore the advice that i'm going to give you today and explain to you in depth today is to make sure that you actually love and enjoy your work if you want to be happy while making money online. I've broken this up into four steps. Okay, and I'm gonna time and stamp them on YouTube and everything just so it's easier for you to comprehend and get through this a lot better. Part one, don't escape the nine to five the wrong way. Now, in the past few months, I'll be honest, like <laughs> it's, it's horrible to say this, but in terms of me and my business and everything, it's really, I'll be honest, it's, it's kind of fallen off compared to what it was before. It, it stopped growing, I'll be honest. and. The reason of that happening is because I made a mistake that I'm going to teach, to, like teach you in this video today, and I basically let my let the money get to my head in a way. I, I don't think it really got to my head, but I stopped doing my work and my business and everything because I enjoyed doing it, and I started doing it just for the money. And so, because I do online coaching, that's my whole business model and everything. When I started doing it, I really, actually really, really loved it. I was getting on my clients' results. It felt absolutely great. Like I was changing guys' lives and everything like that. It felt epic, yeah. It, this is my whole thing. It's like, I was obviously thinking about the money and everything and growing my business. Like I, I, I won't lie and tell you I didn't care about money at all. Obviously, everyone cares about money. But I was incredibly focused on actually getting my clients' results and actually yeah, I, I actually just enjoying it and making a difference in the world. And that's a big reason why I was doing it. And I was really, really enjoying it because of that. And that's because I was being purposeful in my work. But then as I scaled up and scaled up and scaled up, I got more and more clients. And eventually it got to like a breaking point almost where it's like I, I didn't have freedom with my time anymore because I had that many clients. And this isn't, I don't mean, to be, don't mean to be flexing here, but I had that many clients at the time it took to like go and call through all of them and message them and everything like that. It's, it's so much time and it, it took away the freedom I have, if that makes sense. It's like, you, you can enjoy doing basically anything if you've got the freedom of whether or not to do it. Like an example I can give, imagine like you're gonna go downstairs and go and help your parents out by doing the washing up or doing the dishes or something like that, yeah. And then as you're going down the stairs, your parents say, oh yeah, can you do the washing up, please? It's like suddenly you're going to be really happy when you were doing the washing up because you had the freedom to do it whether, you're, whether or not you wanted to and you felt like you were doing it in your own free will. But then as soon as your parents say you have to do it, <laughs> then you don't want to do it anymore because you don't have the freedom. And the same with me, like when I was doing my coaching and calls and everything, it's like that. Obviously, I still had to do them, but because I didn't have as many, I had a lot more freedom with it and I felt that like I was doing it because I wanted to. When I had more, like more and I had loads and it's like it took up my whole Saturday and half of my Sunday, and that was like, and I also had school during the week and everything. So I had basically no free time. I had like half a day free per week, basically. When it was like that, I didn't have freedom anymore. And so I started hating it. And because of that, it became less purposeful. And I was still getting clients results. Like I, I, I wasn't scamming. I didn't go down to the level of scamming people, obviously. I was still getting people results and the results were still coming through. And I was still getting good testimonials and all of that. But I just wasn't enjoying it as much, if you know what I mean. And it became much more for money than anything. I... I, I yeah, it really just become much more for money and I was focusing too much on the money and that made me a lot less happy. It's like I remember back to the days, it was like probably like February, March, April time, beginning of this year, where I was really, really doing well and I was really purposeful. And I think back to those days and I'm just like, I want to relive those days because those days were so, so good. And I think now, I back to now, maybe not less now, like right now, because I'm becoming more purposeful now because I've noticed my mistake. But I think back to maybe a month ago and it's just like, <sighs> 
it's just been for money. It's like I haven't actually been caring too much about making a difference in the world and making a difference on my boys. It's more of, yeah, just make money. And I enjoy my life so much less when it's like that. It, it's crazy. It's crazy to think. Yeah. <laughs> And then eventually what happened, I started hating it that much. I just, I, I got complacent because I mean, I already had the money coming through and I mean, I, 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 I'm finding it kind of hard to talk about my mistakes on camera like this, but yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I got complacent with the money. I, I, I felt like I had it all sorted out and then it all started dropping off and I started losing clients because of that. And I lost a lot of it, I'll be honest. And then, I mean, I've changed up with the business model and everything now to raise my prices so I don't have as many clients. And yeah, stuff has gone down, I'll be completely honest. It's, it's not complete shit, but because I made the mistake of letting the love for my work go and focusing too much on money, I lost it all and became unhappy. I was at a point where I was making loads of money and I was happy, but then I, I, I let the money get to me and I lost the purposeful side of it and then I lost all of it. You see, the message I'm trying to get to you in this video is that you have to love your work. You have to enjoy your work and feel like you're making a difference on the world with your work, especially in online business, because if you don't, then you're just gonna, you're gonna end up losing it all. It's like, you hear these stories of athletes and it's like, they'll, they'll gain all the like famous success and everything like that. And they'll become really, really rich, but then they'll just like, they'll, they'll become a drug addict. Yeah. Or they get some random girl pregnant and then, and then they have to like pay the childcare stuff and whatever. And they'll just lose it all. Yeah. Because of they, they, they let it get to their head and they stop the grind. Yeah. Because they think they've already done it. I can't name any examples of athletes. I can think of that, but I can name an, an example of an athlete who stayed purposeful with his work and not, not necessarily purposeful but he stayed on the ground with it and that's what was his name N'Golo Kante Chelsea defensive midfielder that was it I can't remember I don't know if it was Nigeria or, or Senegal or where he was from it was somewhere in Africa but he, he really came up and it was like um Sadio Mane too if you follow football you know who I'm talking about those guys it's like They both came up from the dirt and from the bottom and they became pro football players, like the, the top echelons of like the Premier League and everything like that, making loads and loads of money. And then in, instead of living the fancy, luxurious lifestyle that most do, instead they started just like sending money back to their families and back to the people they live with in, in their home countries and everything like that. And they stayed on the purpose, on the grind, like providing for the people back at their home rather than cashing it all out in a big mansion like most football players do. And it's, it's like, you, you see them and they're just so happy. It's like, I remember I saw this thing about N'Golo Kante and it's like, he, he had like an old broken eye. He was, he was making like however, like a hundred grand a week or something like that. I don't know if that's, I've just made that figure up, but he was making like loads, like loads of money. And then he just had like an old battered like iPhone six or something like that that he was using, <laughs> all cracked up. And then people were like, oh, why don't you just buy like the newest iPhone? It's basically, it's like an hour of your work really to get this new phone. And he was just like, well, I don't need it. I don't need it and I don't want it. And it's like he he's happy like that because he's really just like living the best life possible okay it's like he's he's followed his dream career and become the best possible version of himself he's doing work that he loves which is obviously playing football i'm pretty sure he's moved to saudi arabia actually now to make more money to help more people back in senegal or where, wherever he's from um in fact no was that who, who did it i'm not sure or was that I'm not, I'm not really up to date with football. I'm getting confused with between Sadio Mali and N'Golo Kante. But, <laughs> but for both of them, they're both living their dream lives, playing the games that they've always loved since they were kids, and they're making buckets of money, like loads and loads of money. And instead of cashing that money out on themselves and buying mansions and Lamborghinis and watches and stuff, they're, they're, they're living humbly and they're sending that money back to their families and the people in their home countries and providing. I remember, I think it was it in Gola, I think it was Sadio Mane, I think he gives, he gives like 20 euros a week or something like that to people in Senegal or sort of in the area he lives in. And obviously that's a lot of money to him as well. And I mean, I, I, I can't remember what it was, but he like brought his whole area out of poverty. Like, imagine like you've been brought up in Africa in like a really, really poor area. And then you go and become super successful, maybe not in football, but in whatever. And you become super, super successful. And then you can send money back to those people that you grew up with. And then suddenly like your whole area, like your whole town is no longer like looking for food constantly and constantly hungry. They're now living happily and peacefully. And they've got enough food and enough water because of you, because of you. That'd be such a good thing. Or the alternative route is you make loads and loads of money and then you cash out on a mansion or whatever, and then you, you think you've got it all and then eventually you lose the money because you stop working hard. Like, 
being purposeful with your work is such a good idea. <laughs> It really is such a good idea and you'll be so happier and you also know with the fact that like luxury stuff doesn't make you happier I've honestly like that whole thing I've just gone on there. It wasn't even the video script <laughs> I went through the first little part of the video script and then it completely went off on a whole tangent just because I'm so passionate about this topic and I mean I'm being purposeful here too, but I'll get on to what I'm actually supposed to be saying like All the, you see all these like drop shipping and affiliate marketing guys and all of this and they'll be like, do an SSMA or do this and do that just to make money, okay? Just to make money for, your, for yourself, okay? They think they're winning, okay? Because they think they've escaped nine to five. But in reality, they haven't, okay? In reality, they've just traded their time and their whole life and all their freedom just for money. And in a way, they're just the exact same as nine to five workers because look at it this way. Nine to five workers, okay, they trade their whole life and their whole time and all their money doing a job that they don't enjoy just for money, just for money, okay? What do people who are doing affiliate marketing and dropshipping do and all that? Well, then they don't enjoy affiliate marketing or dropshipping. And so they're trading their whole life, all their money, not sorry, all, their, sorry their whole life, all their, all their time, just for money. Nine to five workers are doing it. Dropshipping guys are doing it. The only difference is the dropshipping guys have more money and they're living in Dubai or somewhere, okay? And you might say, oh yeah, well, at least it's better than working on nine to five because they've got all the luxurious stuff. You and me, we already know that luxurious stuff doesn't make you happy. You get a new phone and within three or four days, you're back down to normal. Like it feels good for a little bit and then you're back down to normal, okay? <laughs> luxurious stuff doesn't get good because your brain gets used to it. And so I'm, I'm being serious here. It's like, this is a whole like brainwave I've just had. And recently, the nine, to, the nine to five workers are just as bad off or just as well off as all these dropshipping and affiliate marketing and SMMA guys, okay? The only way you can get out of this is by doing something you absolutely love for work. As I was saying earlier, it's like when you have freedom to do stuff, you feel happy about it and you feel good about it, okay? But when you don't have the freedom for it, you start to hate it. You start to, you, you feel like you're being forced to do it and you hate having to do it, okay? As I was saying earlier, like when you have the freedom to do something, when you have the freedom to do work that you want to do, and you have the freedom to work when you want to, to do whatever you want to do. You actually enjoy it when you do it, don't you? You actually, you really do enjoy it when you do it, okay? But when, when you're forced to do something and when you don't have the freedom to do it, you don't enjoy it anymore. Nine to five workers and also these guys who are doing all this drop shipping stuff, they don't have the freedom, okay? Because they have to work for the money because they've got the apartment that's like $10,000 per month in Dubai. They have to keep working for it, okay? And so they no longer have the freedom to stop working and so they're basically just trading their whole life just for money, just for this apartment that they don't even like. It's, this is how you start hating your life, okay? Because if you hate your work, obviously you're gonna hate your life. It's like you're taking away your own freedom by doing this, really. If you try and escape the nine to five by, by going down this route of drop shipping or whatever that you don't actually enjoy doing, you're not gonna end up any better than the nine to five workers, okay? You, it's, it's, it's a simple fact, okay? I guarantee, me here, obviously I'm, I'm making a decent amount of money online, but I guarantee I'm thousands of times happier than some of the guys living in Dubai doing drop shipping or whatever, okay? Simply because they don't enjoy it. And it's like, they've got the pressure to make money to keep up their, their $10,000 apartment and to buy this new watch that they've got in finance and stuff. It's like, they have that pressure on them to get that money. And then the only way they can get money is by doing something they hate. And so they're forced to do something they hate for something that they don't even like having. Like the watch, they don't even like having it anymore because it's old now and they want something new, but they still have to keep paying it off. And so they're doing something they hate for something that doesn't even bring them happiness. And it's just pointless because they tried to escape the nine to five and they showed everyone on Instagram and all that stuff that, oh yeah, guys, escape the nine to five living in Dubai or wherever now. And they say, oh yeah, I'm so happy and everything. In reality, they hate their lives just as much as the nine to five worker does. They haven't escaped it, okay? The people who are truly, truly happy are the guys like me and I'm not trying to be arrogant here okay but when you actually enjoy your work and you actually enjoy doing what you like doing in life life just becomes so fun okay everything in life becomes easy when you have this clear mission okay this clear purpose that you have to get to life just becomes fun it's like it's this whole like little rant I'm getting into now I love it okay I love doing this because I know it's gonna help guys I know it's gonna help guys like you guys like my younger self okay and it's, it's just such a beautiful thing when you love your work please please do not go down the wrong route of doing work that you don't enjoy just for money because money will not bring you happiness okay and you might hear people say oh yeah but money it, it can feed you and you can save your family and retire your family with money and everything it's like yeah money can i guess make you a bit happy but look at it this way like people in africa like living in poverty and stuff they are some of the happiest people in the world it's like 
I know it sounds, it, it, this, I don't want this to sound racist or whatever, but okay, you, you see people living in poverty. Like I, I think giving like Africans as an example is a really good example. You see them living, living in poverty, not having much food, not much water. They are still happy. They are still incredibly happy a lot of the time. This is this one kid at, at school. I don't know if he lived in poverty. He, he's from Nigeria. He speaks English fairly, fairly well now, but I don't, I'm pretty sure he's from Nigeria. And um, I don't know if he lived in poverty or whatever there, but he is just like one of the happiest guys I know. Like he's constantly smiling, just constantly cheering. It's just like, it's it, it, a lot of people in those countries are nowhere near as rich as people in, in like in the West. And you see people in the West and a lot of the time just like, I don't want to like say the West is falling on anything. Cause I know that's a whole other stereotype people say and I'm not associated with that. But if you compare like, a stereotypical young happy African guy to the stereotypical like degenerate western guy the western guy is a lot more money than the african guy but the african guy is happy i like i don't want to sound racist here or anything this is just like an example you probably deeply understand too money doesn't make you happy and so do not trade your whole life just for money do not trade your whole life force yourself to do something you hate for something you don't even like and i'll be completely honest I think back to the days where it's just like, I didn't, I didn't have money and I was just like trying to grind away at my business, trying to help people with my YouTube. Like when I had my YouTube before I had coaching and everything like that, yeah, I still, I still really enjoyed it, okay, because I was helping people and I didn't have money. Like I, I was completely broke. I was getting like 20 pound a month from my dad for doing chores and so <clears throat> I was completely broke. I was still like just as happy as I am now, okay, even without money. The money hasn't made me happier either, okay? <laughs> All right, again, dark, so I just had to put the little light on now. Part two. You can do basically anything to make money online nowadays. Now, I've just got to give you a little disclaimer before I tell you the story, okay? I do coaching to help guys just like you to make money online by doing coaching. So whatever you're good at, whether it be biking, football, um, self-improvement, weightlifting, okay, mindfulness and mental health, whatever it be, you're credible and you're good at. I can help you to make money online by starting a YouTube channel, whatever social presence, okay, and getting coaching clients and helping other, basically just helping other people to become better themselves, okay? And I will help you to make money online by doing that. That's my whole business model right now. And I'm, I'm about to, I'm just telling you that now because I'm going to tell you a story about one of my clients, Vlad. He's from America and um, he did anxiety coaching. And it's really, really a beautiful story. And I just wanted to tell you that now just so you, you had context on it all. <laughs> I just got to do the little plug now though. If you are interested in getting coaching from me to help you to make money online by doing something you love, kind of the link in the description. You can go book a free call with me there just so we can start talking about it there. So Vlad is from Idaho and for a lot of his life, he struggled with really, really like, horribly bad anxiety. I'm not sure of quite all the details. He hasn't told me loads about it, but yeah, it was really, really horribly bad anxiety that he had. And no matter what he did, he went to therapists, he went to all this, all that, and none of it worked for him. And he eventually just had to try and solve the problem himself. And he did. He did solve his anxiety for himself. He used his certain methods or whatever he did to fix his anxiety. And his life massively improved because of that. And then he came to me and we started doing coaching for him. Well, as you can guess, anxiety coaching. And what ended up happening is he, he got his first few clients and he started making enough to pass, go part time in his full nine to five job because of doing coaching while also helping other guys to fix their anxiety and really changing other guys' lives as well. And I just want to give you that quick story example because it, it's just a perfect example of what happens when you start doing something purposeful because he had a sales job, like a nine to five sales job and everything like that. And he didn't really enjoy it or anything. And he, he just started doing work he enjoyed. Okay, and it allowed him to stop doing the work he didn't enjoy and start doing the work he does enjoy, which helps people. And Vlad's really, he really is on his way to like making this go like full time and everything. And it's, it's really a beautiful thing. And, and this really is just a, a good example of the fact that you can do anything, okay, to make money online nowadays. Literally anything, whatever good skill you have, okay, you can make money online by doing it. So whatever you are good at, okay, whatever you have credibility, whatever you have a good skill in, okay, you can help people to come better in that. I've helped guys doing fat loss, doing fitness, like bodybuilding, being social, game design, like um, like making the models for like games and stuff like that, um, being more social. Yeah, all of this, okay, you can do whatever you're good at. So you can just think like, what, what are you actually good at in life? Like what are you credible in? What are you better at most people than in life, okay? You can just help other people with that by doing coaching online. You can just start making YouTube videos and I've got a whole like full like guide on how to basically start doing coaching and how to start growing a YouTube channel and everything like that so you can do what I did. Um, and that's, that should be like the main, if you go on my channel, it should be like the main top front video there. Um, and it, it really is, yeah, it really, really is a beautiful thing when you do this. Part three, love over money. Money doesn't make you happy. It's doing what you love and helping people that does, okay? And so you have to focus all in on the impact you're making on people that you're serving and that's what will make you the happiest. 
Okay, I've already mentioned this in my story in my little rant before, okay? But you just have to go all in on like actually helping people and all in on actually the impact that you are having on people, okay? You can focus on money and everything and you can focus on grinding up your business and that can be fun to make money and see your first sale and drop shipping, whatever, okay? But what's really more fun and really more enjoyable is when you get your message from your client saying, hey bro, I, ju I, just, I just spoke to this guy and now we're friends and I made my first friend or hey man, I just, I just hit this new PR in the gym or hey man, I just got my first sale because of you. It's such a good feeling. Like literally, <laughs> this happened quite literally this morning. It's this guy, he's not actually like my full client. He hasn't paid me or anything like that, but I know him fairly well. And so I was just helping him for free. Like we went on like a th three 30 minute call quite a while ago just to set him in his right direction because I really wanted to help him. And um. Eventually what happened was he got his first sale for like 50 quid or something like that a couple of weeks ago. And then this morning he just messaged me and saying, hey man, I really appreciate your help. I've just got my second sale for $150. And he, I think he's doing it for like productivity coaching or something like that. And I was just, I felt so good, you know, because I don't want to sound arrogant here, but because of my actions, he is now making money and he is now helping other guys to be more productive. So there's two clients he have because of me. It sounds strange, but because of me, they're now being more productive. And not only that, this guy that I've helped to get the clients, he's now also making money online and fulfilling his dream. And it's just such a good feeling. Like even if he paid me like, like the full price of my coaching, it wouldn't make me feel any better, okay? Because it, it's, it's a feeling of helping people that just makes you feel so good in life. And you know this too, it's like, there's this study there was this study that the, I can't remember, it was in some university in America and they gave these, these, these like two groups of people some money each, it was only like a couple of dollars or something like that. They gave them some money and they said, okay, you can just go around like the university campus or whatever and you can either spend these couple of dollars on yourself or you could spend it on a friend, okay? And what they found was the people who spent it on their friends were literally like, they had more like positive dopamine, they felt happier than the people who spent it on themselves, okay? And that, that just proves that when you help other people and you focus on other people and you focus on supporting and providing for other people, you just feel so much better about yourself. And it's like just being a man as well, like being a male with testosterone, it's a natural like, instinct, natural feeling to want to provide for the people around you, okay? And so if you're actually helping people and if you're supporting and if you're being a value member of society and a valuable member of your community then you are going to feel happy it's as simple as that and I mean even right now I'm super 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 duper happy like doing this is just the love work I love and I mean when I'm staring at this bright light I can't see anything and like yeah it's got dark now and it's it's pretty cold out here and I'm, I'm late to get back because I've got a good climb with my dad and I'm, I'm going to be late if I don't finish this up soon I mean yeah I've got literally like right now as I was saying that I can't I've got hang on let me show you this <laughs> I got a message from my mum saying get back right as literally right as I said that. Because <laughs> I've got a good climb with my dad after this. And yeah, there's these things limiting me, but I'm loving it here. I'm loving it here. I'm in the dark, in the cold. There could be some fucking serial killer killer or pedophile sneaking up on me right now. I don't care. I'm up. I'm happy out here. I'm happy. I mean I'm enjoying it. I'm in nature. I'm being purposeful because I know this video. There's a good chance it really, really helps you. And now there's fucking stupid planes. Cause I'm near an airport. <laughs> near, near the Second or something biggest airport in the UK, like Birmingham Airport. And I, I don't care, I'm happy here. I'm, I'm being purposeful, I'm happy. Here. And I just fucking deleted my whole script, wait. Now I got the video script back, it's fine. But my point is, it's like, I'm just, I'm just chilling here, I'm happy. Like you can just tell I'm genuinely happy here. Like, I'm, I'm just loving this, okay? Because I know that people are gonna watch this video, including you, and you, you should be like writing down whatever notes you get from the video too. But I know that like, people are gonna watch this video, it's, it's potentially gonna change their lives and stop them going down the wrong route. And because of that, I'm just like, yes. I'm living life how I'm supposed to. Like helping people makes you feel so much better than any possible materialism that you get. Like for example, the GoPro I'm recording on this right now, is like when I got this, it was like, it was a cool new device and everything like, it was like a fancy new camera, like best camera I've ever had and everything. And I could use it for my mountain biking and everything. But I'll be honest, like the effect of it, the materialism effect of it, it wore off within like three hours, okay? <laughs> it, it really did. It was like, yeah, cool new thing. And then it, it was done within three hours, okay? And I was, I was back to level dopamine and it didn't feel good anymore, okay? When you get new materialistic stuff, you already know this, it, it doesn't, you don't feel good about it for very long. You just get like planed, like levelized with it, okay? I've made a full video about how exactly you can do coaching. I've got the whole full guide and everything. I'll, I'll try and remember to link it in the top corner, but I mean, I, I probably, I probably, probably won't. I'll be completely and utterly honest with that. Um, and yeah, so you can just search up on, on like Sam Millison, how to make your first $1,000 with coaching and it should come up then. Um, and that's a full like hour guide basically about how to make money with coaching and everything like that. Um, and then obviously if you do want to get my one-on-one -on -one help, one-on-one -on -one coaching and everything like that, um, and you are interested in investing, in, in investing your own money into 
helping yourself to make more money a bit of if, if that makes sense like if you basically want to buy my coaching i've got my calendar, calendar link in the description you can go book a free call with me there on that call we literally just talk i'll tell you all the details and everything like that and we'll have a good talk about it to help you decide if you want to spend your money on this and yeah bro and yeah that's that's really it it's good talk today it's good dark now i really do have to leave now and um yeah good talking man thanks for watching hopefully you got some good notes maybe leave a comment explaining what you got I'll re i reply to literally every comment um so if you want to talk to me there you can or you can message me on Instagram, just searching up on Instagram and subscribe, like, do all that. Go buy my program and uh, go buy my coaching. And then, yeah, man, good talking. See you in the next one.